How you guys doing? This is me, Larry, from TYT for him. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Um, today, I'd like to talk about some of the things that's going on right now. Right now, we are dealing with the holidays. And you guys already know that it's a lot of things that's going on with people that's losing their job. And it's hard right now on them and their families. And some of us is blessed to keep our jobs and you know and we, we we should be grateful and we should be giving right now for those that's out there that's struggling that don't have a job and a family right now so i'm just coming on right now just to try to reach out to anybody that's out there that maybe have a family member or friends or anybody out there that's struggling right there maybe you guys can be a blessing for them let god use you in a mighty way right now let God, God use you in a mighty way and be a blessing for them. Christmas is coming. If you know anybody, any family members or any friends, and maybe they ha they lost their job and they have kids, if you could afford it, be a blessing. Be a blessing. You can go to Rite Aid. They, they have cheap toys. You can go to um, Targets or anything and just, just gather some toys or Go to your job and tell your job what you want to do with some kids that need toys and what they like to donate. And and, and, I, and I believe this is the time where we're supposed to be together and, 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 and come to show who we are, you know, as, as women and men of God. And, and I believe that. And, you know, we need to support each other and support each other ministries. And our ministries is... If we say ministry, ministry should be a ministry to be able to reach out to help others, um, help people, help the homeless, help help um, the, the people that's in um, in jail and people trying to, you know, prostitution, different different things, and you know, it, 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 you know, ministry can go all is it, is big. It, it can be it can help all kind of people. But my ministry is the film production ministry, and I like to work with the homeless and stuff like that. So my um, energy, what I put on, is reaching out to the homeless. And, you know, because if you guys know my testimony, I was once homeless myself. And uh, thank God now i am uh, been with my wife for 24 years and two beautiful daughters and my job for 20 years. And, you know, God blessed us and got us a... Uh, house and I'm still here I went to prison and and um, I've been shot stabbed and you know so so it, it it is a God that that have he forgives he's a forgiving God because at the time when I was growing up I, I didn't know him I heard of him and I just kind of like pushed him to the side but he came into my life and he came strong. And I believe that he can come into your life the same way he came into mine. And, and the transformation of what he did for me, he can do for you. Uh, because I, I, I didn't think that I had, had um, favor, you know, the things that I was doing. I didn't think I had favor because I thought things was just messed up in my life. And everything was just messed up. And But... This God that people was talking about was a forgiving God. And he took me out of situations where I didn't post to be and blessed me. And I just say, thank you, God, for that situation. Thank you, God. And I just say, thank him for allowing me to be here to speak with you guys today. This, this is a blessing. You are a blessing even for watching. And that makes me so happy, you know, because I, I'll be able to, the, what God gave me, I could be able to speak to others and, um, it's about trying to, if it's a thousand people that's out there watching, if only one person can get to know God through this conversation, through this um, um, intimate, you know, um, chat we have it right now, um, that's a blessing. It might not be for everybody. It might, it might not be for um, a thousand people. It just might be for one person. But if that's you and you, You've been through a lot. You've been through thinking because you got a felony, your life is over. Because I, I still have a felony. Like I say, I'm an inventory control manager. 
and I own my own production. So it, 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 it's, it is a God, and God can change you. But you have to stop fighting him. That's the problem. You have to stop fighting him because everybody always trying to fight God because of, they don't see things in their life today. They don't see the transformation what God is doing right now because they are blinded. And that used to be me, but you are not blind. Open your eyes and see the, and see the things that he's doing. People that come into your life, you like to push them, push them away. Push them away and tell them to get out of here because you don't want to believe this God. But God is there. He's, he's a part of your life every day. And I'm asking for you to stand up today to accept him as your Lord and Savior. If you are tired of being who you are, when you look in the mirror, you're depressed. If you're tired and you're ready for to be changed and you're ready for this blessing and you're ready for your cup to be overflowed, let me tell you something. Ex ask him to come into your life. Because God said the only way through me is through my son, Jesus Christ. So if you don't know Jesus Christ, you're not going to know the Father. So if you're ready to know the Father, you have to know his son. So I'm asking you right now, if you're ready to get cleaned up on them drugs, if you're ready to get cleaned up on the alcohol, you're ready to stop being on the street, being the prostitution, you're ready to stop gangbanging, you're ready to stop being a trigger man, you're ready to stop doing the evil thing, and you're ready to get your life together, if you're ready to be a father for your children, you're ready to be a husband for your wife, today is the day for you to listen. This, this What I'm saying might not might not might make sense to other but it's making sense to you right now because it's touching your heart right now your heart is pounding because you think i'm talking directly to you but i am talking to you i'm talking to the broken i'm talking to the ones that's out there that need jesus that is ready to stop doing what they're doing because they've been they backs is against the wall they seem like they keep sinking and you ready to just rise up to be a better man our better, our better woman. So if that's you. You just have to repeat these simple words. Dear Lord, come into my life. Change me. Make me whole. I would like to know who you are. I accept you as my, as my father. Come into my life right now. Cleanse me from any disease any drugs and make me pure today i surrender my life to you and all this we ask in jesus name thank you for watching it didn't take long did it it was simple and easy so thank you guys for watching.